Hey guys and girls, happy festive season. I've finally got the Christmas tree up, there you go. <laughs> but this is going to be another Lost in Space review, so this is episode 6 now of season 3, so I've almost done with the new season. And it's called Final Transmission, and this is the one where Will finally executes his, his plan, where he's obviously going to, like, sacrifice well, potentially sacrifice himself for the best of the family with the robots now on their way after the Robinsons family. Will has obviously this plan where he feels like he's the only one who can communicate with the pro with the robots and maybe control them, that he understands their language. And it sort of builds to this. Obviously, early in the episode, you get, like, the Robinson family reunited for the first time. There's actually, like, this fun moment of, like, tension, drama, if you like, where someone's, like, sort of whacking at the door and trying to burst in. And obviously, you've got Judy and Maureen. And after what they've been through with the whole, like, alien life form, and that they're not quite sure what it is. And, you know, in the end, John breaks through the door and the rest are, like, with him. So you get, like... And this sort of thing this show does really well, but you get, like, the emotional, like, reunions and catching up. And and there's some fun banter in there, as there always is, because Penny makes a crack about, well, it, it looks like, you know, slime everywhere sort of thing. And, and there's a nice moment with Judy and Penny where... Judy almost gives her like a vote of confidence and it's like well but because Penny's almost talking about how things could be even worse and and Judy's like well Robinson stick together and there's like a sort of a smart crack from Smith which is sort of aimed more at Will it's like well do they because she like knows about his plan and, and stuff but I think one of the more interesting moments in the episode is actually where Maureen's asking Smith about the the past year or so however long it's been you know they've been separated from the children so Smith has actually seen them grow up at crucial parts of their lives sort of thing and, and the parents have like missed that um, and she's asking Smith about what's going on with the bear and Smith you know makes a cheeky remark about like Penny's being involved in her first love triangle but it, she actually like sweetens it a bit and which I think is maybe the truth anyway but she sort of like says well it wasn't a major one and, and both guys you know are likeable enough guys and stuff and it's just, it's an interesting conversation because you do have moments of vintage Smith where she's maybe throwing certain things in there just to like make Maureen like worry or like manipulate things. But generally speaking, it's a sweet little scene where Smith is actually like getting across the message: you, you don't have to worry about your kids, Maureen. They've grown up or they're growing up and they've learnt to stand on their own two feet, they're responsible, all all, all the rest of it. They they've grown they're growing into like mature, likable sort of adult type thing. And I think obviously I was relieved that Smith was still around for this season, but one of the things I like that they've done with Smith is that it's been a slow transition to like a full blown good guy if you like her on the Robinson team but it still feels like the old Smith and it still feels at, at times that she's trying to manipulate the truth or, or manipulate the other characters let's say then there might be something going on in the background with her that you can't quite trust her but I think on the other hand I think maybe as as Will has sort of cottoned on to that sometimes she 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 uses this tactics or she uses her kind of blunt term as a way to like mask the fact that she has actually grown to like the Robinsons and maybe sees herself as part of the family after all because Will he, he makes like this final transmission of the title which is just in case things go wrong 
with him and the robot and he doesn't survive but he makes the trend and he's it's it's a really nice thing when you hear it but he's going through the various characters and when it gets to smith he sort of says smith you're, you're not so bad after all it's the robot one that sort of got me because the robot one he, he says well you're my best friend and i need you to protect my family sort of thing but it's been the character growth which has really been the fun part of the season but i did like that that scene with smith and maureen but things come to a head when Dom returned, because he's like the last to return, and there's like this emotional sort of thing, and Smith makes like a nasty comment about his like his pet chicken. But anyway, Don tells them about getting brain scanned by the robot, and this is where the science sort of comes in, because Maureen makes this sort of thing about first contact and all that and she says well originally they scanned Grant when he was in isolation like frozen because they wanted directions to earth from him and they says well Don's the only one out of us anyway who's been to Alpha Centauri so that's actually why they wanted to scan John not John sorry Don so they're now concerned for the others who have, you know, successfully gone to Alpha Centauri because now they feel the robots have targeted them and they're going after them. And this is what motivates Will to, like, sort of hatch his plan and make an escape. And you do get a bit of back and forth with him and the robot where the robot's trying to convince him to stay with his family and Will's like, no... I need to do this now, but you need to stay and protect my family. And there's even a bit where the robot is trying to tell Penny, but it's like, obviously it's just a generic sort of term where it's like protect family. And Penny just takes it as a sweet, supportive, oh, thank you, you're always there for us, that sort of thing. But doesn't realise and it's trying to warn them. And obviously they find out later when Will's already gone off in in this buggy and you get this whole thing where he's like drawing the like sad to him and we actually find out because the Robinsons start to wonder well what what does he actually want with Will and it's actually Penny who 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 says well maybe he wants to or, or maybe Will's the only one who can control them and there's one line from Maureen which I didn't like so much because it's like a pop shot at Penny where she sort of says, you know, often when you think you know something that we don't, when you think, when you're the only one who, who seems an answer or, or, or think you have an answer, then then you actually don't. And I thought that was a bit mean-spirited, actually, a bit of a dig at Penny. Um but I, I did like she was actually supporting Will. But yeah, we find out because we see a scene with Sal and Scarecrow maybe tell us where he came from. And we find out later as Will tries to persuade Sal, you know, then he can define his, his original program and his masters are no longer gone so you can choose your own programming and it's almost making arguments about free will and it's revealed in this scene that in a way that they all they already expressed free will but in a way will wasn't expecting and find out that so actually killed his masters and he stabs Will. I mean, for this show, it's 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 a little bit graphic and shocking because it's Will. He's he's still a young boy, but he actually stabs him, and it's a really dramatic thing where they're cutting back and forth between this and Will's message, and and it, you know, they sell it in a way where Will's gonna die, and in the back of your mind, you're thinking, is he really gonna die? Surely they're gonna find a way to save him, and. They sell it pretty well, but and it's a very well done scene because of the emotional message from Will. But I think by the end of the episode, because they treat it as a cliffhanger and they're trying to save him, I get the impression he probably will survive. 
to like cry cry the freeze him to like preserve him because he still has a pulse, a faint pulse, but it's not looking too good. And they decide, well, the only place near enough with a hospital is Alpha Satori. And that sort of lines up anyway, because they sort of have to go there because that's where the robots are heading. And so they set off to Alpha Centauri, but they cry a freeze will um, because it's a way to try and preserve him for a while. So Judy has that idea, but... Yeah, it becomes a whole thing where they're, by the end of the episode they're trying to, to save Will. So, all solid stuff <laughs> once again. That's Lost in Space episode 6. Let me know your thoughts if you've been following the show in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Share me out on social media. You can support me now on Patreon for extra content. That's patreon.com slash board now. You can also look out for some special Christmas themed live streams throughout the month as always and special movie TV reviews. But thanks for listening. Goodbye.